being stopped for no other reason but their skin colour. These are the allegations made by France's non-white population as a Paris' appeals court considers a landmark case brought by black and Arab men. Today, a Paris appeals court will consider a long-standing civil test case brought by 13 French men of black or North African origin. Ages and professions range from 18 to 35, students, teachers, local councillors and even sports professionals. All of them saying they were stopped by police in various cities across France simply because of their race. They say they are routinely pulled over by police officers and asked to show their identity papers with no explanation. An issue which has contributed to increased tension and urban rioting on housing estates. Research carried out in 2009 by Open Society Justice Initiative found a black person was six times more likely to be stopped by police than a white person in Paris, and an Arab person was almost eight times more likely to be stopped than a white person. More than ever before, France is soul-searching over race relations, discrimination, anti-Semitism and hate speech. And after the Paris attacks in January, campaign groups say French people of Muslim appearance are complaining of increased discrimination by the police. So much so that spokeswoman of the group Stop Le Control of Facies admits to an increase in injurious situations, saying, even before the current climate, this was a very important case, the first time citizens sued the French state for racial profiling and police checks, but now there are even more injurious situations and conflations being made. Many believe the undertones of fighting terrorism has given rise to unjustified reasons to stop and check people of Muslim appearance. Back in 2012 and before his election as president, Francois Hollande admitted there was a problem with racial profiling and police checks. He also promised to campaign for written receipts for all checks. But so far, there has been no reform. Catherine Chagdam, political analyst, is joining us via Skype from London. Ms Chagdam, thank you for joining us. Now, France is awaiting this landmark ruling on this racial profiling for ID checks. Firstly, what should we expect from the ruling and do you think it will have any impact on the racial profiling ID checks? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that the narrative coming from France and I would say even across Europe uh, is increasingly fascist. Um, and I think that we have fallen into the same situation that we have seen unfold, you know, after 9-11 in, in, in the United States of America. Um, and now France is using the terror attack um, and the Charlie Hebdo events as a mean to an end to further its own political agenda. And I think that, you know, we all know that France has a history when it comes to racism and, and racial profiling. And their relationship towards Islam, and I would say even religion in general, um, has been um, troubled, you know, from, from the get-go, because I think France has a very difficult understanding of secularism, where they have fallen into the, the other extreme, where they do not want religion to ever, ever interfere with the state, to the point where they do not tolerate uh, so, any religious so are you idea. Saying, are you saying that this fight against terrorism in France is now pushing for an increased um, discrimination in the country, then? Absolutely. They have become increasingly racist. And I think that even the population is starting, you know, starting to pick up on this, where uh, a lot of French people have becoming openly, um, you know, uh, opposed to immigration coming from the Middle East and opposed to Islam in general. And with Fr Pre um, President Francois Hollande, with his election campaign, he did say previously that this is something that needs to be dealt with because this is a new problem in France, it's just increased mm. since the Paris attack. Why do you think he hasn't actually done anything to try and, and sort this problem out? Well, that's the thing. I think there's, there's a dual, you know, political talk where, you know, he needs to say what he needs to say to make sure that, you know, no one is accusing him of fascism or, or promoting um, racism in France. But of course, he has to listen as well to, you know, the, the, to, to the French people and to try to, to see whether he could, you know, manipulate the votes, uh, you know, in, in his direction, um, if you will. And of course, you know, a lot of the French people are increasingly racist, are increasingly opposed to, to Muslim and, you know, and, and people from, you know, coming from the Middle East and Africa. So of course, he has to fall into the far right narrative and try to appeal to, uh, to, to this audience. And it's actually quite sad that once again, rather than take the high road and, and trying to, um, 
you know, to, to contribute to the, to, to the conversation and trying to be peaceful and trying to be rational, he has decided to listen to the far right. Um, and, you know, this is, I would say, a very slippery slope. And as you're saying, this is a very deep-rooted problem in France. Do you think these men who are taking their case to court will succeed in bringing about some sort of change? No, I don't think so. And, and it's actually quite sad because I would like to think that, you know, human rights will prevail no matter what. Uh, but I think there is absolutely no political will. So regardless of what is happening, um, you know, in, in the justice um, sector, I don't think that it will actually translate, uh, you know, when it comes to how the police is, is looking um, at, at the foreign population in France and how they're looking at immigration issues and how they, they're even looking at social issues uh, pertaining to, to the Muslim community and the, 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 um, the migrant communities. You know, to thank you very much. Appreciated, Catherine Chagdam, a political analyst who's joining us over Skype from London.